let's render our object. Uh, to render, I'll create a new view, go to plan, save view, uh, save redimensional view, camera, and uh, I want to render from this side to this side. Alright, then I'll activate uh, my full navigation wheel with this button or with F8. I'll zoom out, pen like, th like this. I'll turn on find detail level, consistent colors. And if you want to understand your horizont line, you can go to graphic display options and uh, background gradient and uh, specify these colors or you can uh, add d uh, default sky like uh, in render or you can upload your image alright I'll turn on shadows and now to render I go to view render or I can pick render here and uh, there are some settings let's uh, check some uh, uh, let's check the must used settings so at first uh, quality it's different uh, quality type so draft it's uh, just draft like it's very quickly but it looks not so great something like this I prefer to use medium quality uh, then you need sp uh, to specify your resolution if you want to create uh, uh, an image with size uh, like you see it in your screen you pick screen if you want to create it bigger you say printer and specify uh, its dimensions oh so, sorry specify its resolution and you'll receive uh, recalculated its dimensions for uh, I'll now pick screen to do it quickly lighting sun or uh, artificial or both of them what you want to use like background sky uh, just color if you want to use for example this image in Photoshop or your image with your sky and uh, say render let's wait a little Of course, a render in Revit is not uh, has not the same quality like 3D, uh, 3ds Max, but it's very good to uh, create a quick image of your object. Uh, and uh, now I created my image. If uh, if you want to send, for example, this file by email and save just like a file you can say export and uh, enter its name say save if you want to save it in, in your project you can say save to project enter its name and now you'll receive your group renderings where your render uh, is placed and you can in any time you can turn uh, on your model view or your render view uh, and if you want uh, for example if you want to check a part of your uh, view you can say render region and select just a part of your object say for example high quality and say render and you'll render just this small part and I prefer the medium quality 
uh, but the bigger resolution for me it's the best uh, result all right and uh, in the new version of Revit uh, 2013 uh, there is one interesting tool which called Ray Trace uh, this tool helps you to do uh, render in real time and during this render you can work with your model let's oh, oh sorry my computer can't work with it because now I'm record uh, the screen video so I suppose it's not sufficient uh, of video card so uh, this way Revit starts to render your object in every second uh, and you can rotate it you can work like with your uh, or just three-dimensional view and then in any time you can uh, say stop and save it uh, like an image or export let's try without shadows ray trace yes so it's rendering but uh, I can work with my model and uh, if you want to receive a better quality you just need to wait a little and Revit will update your view if uh, your quality is good you need to just say stop and save like a view in your renderings or you can rotate your model and uh, wait uh, when Revit creates a new view. Okay, stop and close. 